Welcome to Quarren TV. It's from Ya Kongetla Shale Lockdown. This episode is brought to you by Messi My name is Sivenko Simatindra. Here's what's on the lineup. When one thinks of a tree, one would think of fruitfulness, growth, and strength. Good morning to you all. My name is Babalo Khozani. And today, in today's session, we're going to be making a tree. Yes, it's a tree, but it's not your ordinary type of tree. I'm speaking about the tree of knowledge. And to help me today is a very good friend of mine. And please do welcome, do help me welcome her. Hello. How are you? Fine. You are fine. What is your name? Anati. Anati. Okay, okay, girl. Okay, what grade are you doing? Grade one. Grade one. Okay, so what do you like doing at school? Reading. Okay, so Anati loves reading. Hmm, that is impressive. And then what is Anati's favorite color? What's your favorite yellow. color? Yellow. You love yellow. Okay, okay. So Anati, today we're going to be making a tree, ne? Can you tell me what is the beginning sound of tree? <laughs> High five! She knows what the beginning of tree is. Impressive. Okay, now before we start, we know it's COVID-19, so we need to have our hand sanitizer. Okay, let's first clean our hands before we start. Yes, they need to be clean so that it can work. Perfect. Okay, so now before we start, we're actually going to need a tin. You can use any type of tin. We'll need some soil. We will need some wood glue because this is very effective. We will need our tree branch and then we will need our coloring pencils. We will also need our rubber pencil, a marker for writing and also our sharpeners just in case our pencil breaks. Okay, now what we're going to do is that we're going to wrap this paper around the tin. Now while I'm doing that, Anati here is going to be busy coloring in her leaves. You can color in your leaves, Anati. Basically what you should do, you should measure your paper around your tin and then we're going to roll it because we need to cut it. It needs to be in order. We do not like working with messy things. Okay, so now we're ready. See, so what we're going to do is that we're going to cut on the inside. Yes, because we're going to cut it on the inside and cut around the tin on top of the tin. There we go. Okay, so now that everything is cut, we are going to use our glue and glue it onto the tin. So you can put in your glue, but it mustn't be too much glue because it's going to get messy. Okay. Anati, would you like to help me put on the paper? Yes, that would be great. Okay, so let's take the paper. Ne? Okay, let's try and plug in the paper together. Good girl. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Let's try and lift it up so that it can be the perfect fit. Yes, okay. Let's try and put a little bit of glue this side. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that was a bit too much. Okay. Yes, okay, so let's try and seal it like this. Yes, okay, perfect, great. And guys, when you are using a scissors, please ask for adult supervision. We really do not want you guys cutting yourselves, hey? Okay, so Anati, now what you're going to do is that, okay, you can stop coloring. Let's quickly put in some soil. Okay, so let's put these away quickly. Now we are going to put in soil. She's going to put in her soil. This is our step two. Okay. Great. Okay. Now it doesn't matter how many scoops of soil you actually put in. And then now once we are done, we are going to take our tree branch and then we are going to place it in the soil. And then we're also going to put small, maybe two or three spoons of soil so that our tree branch can actually be steady and then it won't move. Because remember, this is a tree after all. Just because it's of knowledge, who says it can't be a normal tree, right? Okay. Oops, I made a mess. Okay, perfect. Now here's the fun part, eh? Okay, so Anati, now what we're going to do is that, okay, so we're going to be doing our alphabets. Now Anati said that she loves reading, right? 
So Anati, we're going to do our alphabets. Ne? So can you please, okay, let's take our marker. Can you please write Afo, Apo for me? Yes, high five. Girls got it. Okay. And then let's draw B for bed. Good girl. Okay, K for cat. Good girl. D for dog. Yes, good, okay. F for elephant. Perfect. High five. Well done. Okay, so now that we are done with our alphabets, we are actually going to move on to our high frequency words. Now remember, Anati said that she loves to read, and now we're going to actually get a sneak peek of that. Okay, Anati, so now let's read. Okay, so this is me. Good. In. Let's try again. Oh. On. Yes, good girl. Ass. Yes. In. In this one. At. High five. Now remember parents, the more a child actually learns their frequency words, the higher their ability and chances of being able to read a story. Okay, so now that we are done with our high frequency words, we did our alphabets, we did our high frequency words. Now, our last thing that we're going to do is our pictures. Now, this is basically to create some thinking within the child, what they actually see and what they see is about so that they can be actually like being able to tell us a story. So, Anati, we're going to move on to some pictures, okay? So, now, would you like to tell me what is it? What is this? Apple! It's an apple. Okay, so what colors are in apple? Red. Green. Yes, yeah, so are the red and green apples. And how do you eat an apple? <sighs> hum, that is how we eat an apple. Hmm. And remember, friends, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Okay, and what is this? Butterfly! Yes, it's a butterfly. And how do butterflies fly? They flap their beautiful wings. Okay, and this is an? Arrow. This is an arrow. Now, where do you find arrows? We find arrows everywhere, especially in our road signs. Okay, so we're going to be sticking our leaves into the tree. Yes. Let's try, wait, let's try and put it this way. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Let's put. Oopsie. Okay. So basically, the more the leaves on the tree, the more the knowledge and the more the child actually knows. Because the whole point of this activity. It is to enable a child to actually learn their words, to learn their alphabets and also their pictures without them having to feel like they're being bombarded or something. And also basically what you would do to assist your child is that um, you would actually have to, for each day, have a new set of words and a new set of alphabets. Now, before you proceed to the new ones, you'll actually have to recite the previous ones that you did so that the child will actually not forget what they did. Now, this is going to motivate them because, I mean, who doesn't want to do this colorful tree? I mean, I'm excited. I'm an, only an adult. Imagine. Okay. This one fell. Okay, so let's put it up. Let's put it up this side. Up. 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 Okay, good girl. Emma, let's try and put it this way. Oopsie daisy. Yes, okay. There we go. So are you having fun? Yeah! I can't hear you. Yes! And I'm also having fun. Let's 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 do a high five and a low five. High five. Low five. Let's do the job. Yes, okay. Now these are our last ones. Okay. I'm gonna paste this one. Okay, let's try and paste it this side, Nick. Okay. Up. Let's pick it up. Let's paste it this side. Okay. Perfect. High five. Put this one here. 
okay so there you have it our own tree of knowledge very colorful and it was very fun to make anati thank you so much for being here today in our session and making me create this beautiful tree of knowledge i hope you guys also enjoyed that i enjoyed it anati you enjoyed it right yeah yes we both enjoyed it now just because it's covered 19 who says that you have to stay at home and do nothing i mean look at this education at the comfort of your own home thank you guys very much for joining us let's just say bye to the friends bye ah so you're that old master that everyone is talking about the one that nobody can beat yeah and you're the young man here to start all the trouble. Huh! I'll show you! Your pathetic kung fu is no match for my perfect flying fist of kung fu! Why are you talking so much? Show me what you can do. What? How are you talking without moving your mouth? Huh! I'll show you! My flying fist of perfect kung fu is just that! Perfect! You talk too much. Stop doing that! I'll show you! Yeah! One minute later. <sighs> <laughs> Teach me, master! Teach me! Hello guys and welcome back. This is Sensei Lamege from Asai New Brighton Karate Academy. Today we're going to be doing a second kata of Shotokan. It's a high-end Nidan. But first, let's recap on the basic stances that we learned from the first episode. Before we jump into the kata, I will show you a basics uh, into the kata, like stances, punches and blocks. So let's get right to it. The first stance we're going to do is a front stance called the Zen Kokutsudachi. You just bend your front knee and when you move forward you press down the front leg. And now for the side view, this is what it looks like facing the side. Now we're going to do the same stance but with a straight punch. This is called an oizuki. Now let's take a look at the, on the side. Notice how the, my other hand that is not doing anything, it's right on top of my belt, or you can just put it right above the belt. Now we're gonna do a block. We're still sticking to the same stance, which is front stance, but now we're doing a block, which is the Geren Burai. It starts from your neck all the way down. Let's take a look on the side as well. Notice how my, my hand that is not doing anything is always above my waist. Next up is another block, still sticking with the same stance, which is front stance. We're gonna do an age uge, a rising block. You're blocking something that is coming from you for your head. This is called a shuto uge, a knife block. Let's take a look at the side. Now notice how my hand that is not doing anything changes and it's right in my liver. And that's it for the basic stances and blocks. Now that we've seen the recap of the basic stances, now we'll show you what the kata really looks like in real time.
Now that we've seen the, uh, the cutter in real time, let's slow it down for you so that you can understand the movements. As you can see in this cutter, we have added some other movements as well. Just watch carefully. And we're also gonna add two more kicks. And watch carefully, we're still using the same movement direction as we used in our previous cutter. Some of the movements are 45 degrees. And then we're also going back again, same way as we did in the other cutter. But now with kicks, Also, the last two parts of the cutter are facing 45 degrees. Tell you what, I mean, for long, you know what? Just for long, we get to play any game you want to play. Huh? Any game you want to play? Aha, uh -huh. any game you want to play. Okay. 
Uh huh. Something beginning with uh huh. The sound k k k. Okay, k. You make it ooh 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 curly k or the kicking k. Kicking cur, okay. The cur. Uh, ah, I have it. Curtains. Ah, the No, Urumbo. I say Urumbo. Urumbo. Cool. <laughs> okay, Urumbo. Cool. Uh, hmm. A cur. Gualapa. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, it's a. Uh, ah, I know. Ketile. <laughs> Okay, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Okay. I spy. I I spy with my little eye something. Hmm. Something. Make it fast, Kalu. What's that guy's going on all day? Go to school lockdown. Okay. I spy with my little eye something. <laughs> something. Something ending. Something ending with the sound. T. T. You might get confused, almost. I said something ending with the letter, the sound. T. You, 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 you. I have it on so you. Something ending with T. Uh huh. Something ending with T. with the sound You're quite clever and I'm trying to Did you look at the Vix? Did you tell me the color go? Okay, give me a little more Something, tell me, okay, what do you want? Okay, uh, okay, uh, this closer now Okay, this closer Okay I spy Spy, shall I look? I spy with my little eye Something ending this closer with the sound Is it is so far? Oh, you're telling me how to fix, but you're wrong. Oh, I told you. Okay, not is so far, but it's so far. It's so far. It's so far. And I go on the lay. Okay, man, can get it now. I got so excited for my to fix. Uh, something ending with ah. Uh, ah, have it. I see it. Ebola! Ah! What's the name? Ebola! No, the mix. It's always nice playing on piano. I can play it all day long. Yeah, you can't, but uh, now it's time for us to say goodbye. You could show me the tune. So let's say goodbye, ne? Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Well, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the show. And remember to watch Quarren TV Monday to Friday, half past five, and catch repeats every weekday, half past eight. And remember to stay at home, sanitize, and keep social distancing. Until next time, bye.